Asuka. A sukkah is a temporary dwelling place. It has three sides, and it's made out of typically natural materials. You can see the stars through the sky, um, branches, bamboo, etc. So I will have in the mic, I will tell you, um, I will have information, my contact information at the information table. Uh, my name is Imre, and I would just like to bring to everyone's attention that both KBU and, and OPB are doing fundraisers, and they have been um, really good supporting us. They were actually here with us versus um, the camera that just show up, whatever. And um, just keep that in mind and support them like they support us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Jasmine. Um, I just want to let you know that on Thursday, no, sorry, Tuesday in the morning, a bus is going to be leaving from Portland down to Salem because of proposed um, increase in clear cuts on our state land. So if you'd like to see your Elliott State Forest and your two Lomac State Forests, uh, State Forest, we would invite you to join us on the cool bus ride down to Salem. Uh, it should be stopping by here in the morning. An early morning, like 8 a.m. early. Uh, or you can meet us at 7.30 in the morning at uh, Hollywood Gross Out. So, thanks. Tuesday morning. And more information can be found on forestdefensenow.org. Thanks. Woo! So... Hi, um, I just wanted to let people know that Basic Rights Oregon is currently doing a persuasion phone calling um, drive and they're attempting to contact people in the state and see whether they can shift them over to being in favor of, of marriage equality. And the, this is the last week of it this next week. Um, and this is pretty much going to be what will decide whether or not they put a marriage equality um, measure on the ballot next year. So if anyone is interested in volunteering, um, I will put contact phone numbers at the information desk. Thank you. Any more general announcements? Step up. So uh, tomorrow on Fourth and Burnside, there's a Right to Survive and another organization. They they have a space. It's like a flat piece of uh, gravel and stuff. You should go check it out. If you're around, just walk down there. It's a grand opening. And it's going to be for like homeless people and people who are just like just can't survive. You know, and you can go there and have a safe place to stay. So spread the word. Go check it out. More general announcements? Yep, yeah, sir. Come on. All right, so the library is trying to set up an archive of texts written in and around Occupy Portland. So if you guys are making journal entries, if you're writing poems, if you're keeping just documentation of things that are going on around you, uh, what people are saying, uh, documenting discussions that you're having. Uh, we are scanning those uh, pages out of your journals, uh, out of your notebooks, and we're making them available in an online resource. And then we're also going to be hopefully printing them out and then categorizing everything through like a Dewey Decimal type system so you guys can read through each other's thoughts. Um, thank you. I just want to make an addition the uh, right to survive uh, thing is down at Fourth and Burnside on the side of the river. Um, the grand opening is at one o'clock tomorrow, and they've requested that uh, people that are interested in giving assistance, they need weeds to be pulled, they need things to be cleared out, and they need people that have building skills and other a variety of other skills. So uh, they've really requested a lot of help from here. So anybody that's willing to go over there at one o'clock, please do so. Thank you. Thank you. So before we go to committee announcements, uh, just uh, something to consider. Um, to, to improve the quality of the General Assembly and the consensus process, our group uh, intelligence, um, there's a couple sayings, uh, wait, 
why am I talking? Just something to internalize for self-facilitation and step up, step back. Um, if you're if you're kind of uh, shy, step up with your speaking. Try to be clear. Uh, step back if you're running on and rambling. That's something that I sometimes have to do. And uh, that's all. And just one request from a facilitator's perspective. Belittling, degrading, or yelling at your facilitators is not a really good way to get called on or heard. So um, I just want to say that I deserve and Jordan deserves respect. We're here to help this process. It's your process. Because it's a community-based process, we're not necessarily experts. We might know a little bit about facilitation, but you know, it's a learning process. It's organic. So if we're struggling, help us. You know, that's what we ask because it is your process. Thank you. Mic check. 7.56. Uh, community announcements.